It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant force positively That Julia Roberts shit was so fucking stupid Yo, to me. But it wasn't, you know why it wasn't stupid? Why? Because they do this all the time. Yo, you know it's the same shit as Rodney Reed, right? Tell me. It's people attaching themselves to the issue, not the person. The, issue, the issue is they understand that Hollywood hires white actors to play roles that are not white. Yes. And they feel a way about that. Yes. So they tweet out something that is clearly bullshit. The tweet was that some exec said, Julia Roberts should play Harriet Tubman. Oh, no, that really happened. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. The, 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 the guy, it, was, it came from a QA. and a The screenwriter of Harriet Tubman, he said that. As a joke. No. He said that when he used to be trying to get this movie made yeah. back in the day, no executives wanted to do it. And he said the times were different. He said he went in there and he pitched the story one time and one executive was like, that's a great story. He said, we should get Julia Roberts to play Harriet Tubman. And he goes, Julia Roberts can't play Harriet Tubman. And they was, he was like, why can't Julia Roberts play Harriet Tubman? Because she's black. The exec clearly didn't know who the fuck Harriet Tubman was. This he is just, hilarious. He just, <laughs> he just, oh my God, He, he just thought the story was great. So then the screenwriter explained to him why it couldn't happen. And then the exec goes, well, because you know, nobody wants to admit they're wrong. Well, that was a long time ago. Nobody will remember. Oh my God. <laughs> like, like, yes, oh, the screenwriter. The screen. His name is uh. What's the screenwriter name? His name is like Greg Howard that wrote the Harriet Tubman movie. I think it was. Yeah. It's so, but that's <laughs> funny. It's funny. And by the way, it's not the first time this has happened. Do you know, motherfucking? Um, I looked this up because uh, I, I I love doing this just to have more research. Twenty five times white actors played people of color, and no one really gave a shit. This oh. is from the Huff Post Latino Voices. Angelina Jolie played Mary Ann Pearl. Mary Ann, look at look at Mary Ann Pearl. <laughs> Wait, is Mary Ann Pearl black? No, she's Af yeah, she's Afro Cuban. Ah, Afro Cuban has naturally curly hair and a dark complexion. Angelina Jolie has no African roots and played her. Ben Affleck played Antonio J. Mendez in what? A movie. It was a fucking movie. Argo. You remember Argo? That guy was Mexican? Yeah. No wonder he could sneak people out of the country. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking Mexican. Do you remember this? Who's this? This is debatable. What is this? Joseph Fiennes played Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is debatable. And, you know, Michael did yeah, turn white. Debatable. Yeah, Michael, because Michael did a lot of that work himself. Mick Rooney as Mr. Unashi. Chris is furious oh, but, about this one. But that's but that's from, uh, <laughs> what is that from again? Mr. Unashi was a Pink Japanese Panther. landlord. Pink Panther, right? No, Breakfast at Tiffany's. This right here, Juliet Bonach played Maria Maria Sagoval Sagova. Come on, man. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Let's get to some ones y'all know. Yeah, uh, yeah, because we don't know. I don't know none of these. Natalie Wood played Maria Johnny Depp as Tonto. Johnny Depp looked like he could be Native American though. Not nah, well, okay. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you know. But he's not a member of the First Nation tribe. Okay, Elizabeth Taylor played Cleopatra. The moral of the story is... Hold on, Elizabeth Taylor played Cleopatra? <laughs> yes. Hey. Now, doesn't this sound like Vanilla Ice? I'm going to tell my kids that was Hammer. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Vanilla Ice is not going to exist in my world. This right here... Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, this but, shit go way yeah, harder. Yeah, but you're you, you, you not going to stay. No, no. What? Because. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice, Ice is back, back with, with a, a brand new invention. Exactly. Because they're holding me tightly. Well, like uh, 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 here's the moral of the story. You don't know the words of that shit. That shit don't slap like Vanilla Ice, bro. Under pressure. Pushing back. I wouldn't know that record if it wasn't for Vanilla Ice. That, but it's still taken. Get a white man his credit, bro. Wish for stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Give the white man his fucking credit for stealing. All right. <laughs> Hold on one second. Get your balls right. Okay. Make sure your balls are shaped up beautifully. Look at this manscaped razor right here. This is for one thing. It's not to trim your mustache. It's not to trim your beard. It's to put this thing on right here. Clip that up. And then boom, you're going to get your sack and you're going to get your bush looking beautiful. Mm. All right. That's what we want to do. You can't be I'm out to here get clean pushing. balls, King. Bro, you got to have the clean balls. You had look at this right here, manscaped. I look like a. I don't look like a. Dude, of course, look at that. That's if you want to have like that little Scotty Pippen. So do I got to put the cream? 
The cream comes after they got the ball deodorant because you know your shit is woofing, especially you go down south. Bro, I'm trying this. And the reason I'm trying this, and I, I've been telling y'all for the longest, I really don't want no hair on my balls. I don't want no hair on my pubes. I really don't. We got to get rid of it. I do, you don't I, want I, any I envy women with the ball vaginas, yo. I don't want nothing. I think we got to start doing this. This is nonstop. Maybe yeah. we even look into a laser situation. Manscape. Listen, you can't hurt yourself because they got this clip on. It's guaranteed. Anyway, yeah. manscaped.com. Use our promo code. Make sure you go get it. Peace. <laughs> okay. Yo, you know what I realized when I was up in Boston? This is so crazy. Talk to me. Is uh because you know Boston is is you know one of the starting places for the Revolutionary War, right? Yes. Uh the Boston Tea Party and the whole thing. Um so the Europeans colonize uh the United States of America. It's not the United States of America at the time, but just North America, right? Mm -hmm. We colonize North America and then Britain is taking all of our wealth away from us, right? So we fight back Britain because they're treating us like we're colonized. Does that make sense? No. In other words, like, we colonize. Okay. Right? And America then, colonizes Britain. No, no, no. Uh, let's say Britain, right? Okay. Colonizes North America. Okay. Right? And then Britain is extracting all the resources out of the land. Got you. Right? And then we fight back against Britain, right? Because we're like, yo, why are you treating us <laughs> like we're colonized? We do that a few years after we just colonized. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, but how we get there? What, what underground railroad did we take here with Julia Roberts to get to this point? <laughs> <laughs> how do we get here? I just think it's kind of funny that like we colonize, take everybody's shit, and then when Britain's taking our shit, we're like, hey, oh, <laughs> hey, I what mean, are you doing? Uh, yeah, but that's life. That tea's though, right? expensive. It is. When well, you the life. bully, you don't want to get bullied. Facts, right? but like, you, you think at any point that's in time, why you the bully, right? But you think at any point in time they're like, yo, that was kind of cold, but we did it in Native Americans, that's bro. That's why you the bully. I kind of would have liked to see Julia Roberts play Harriet Tubman. Though. I think she could pull it off. Bro. What? You don't think that she knows She's a great the black actress. experience? So what? I didn't play Harriet Tubman. I, it's, I, listen, what? let me tell you something. Hold on. You don't want to see? Come on, let's just... Let, no. First of all, this is not a come to the microphone moment. But continue. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go no, on. for real Why would you want a white woman to play... Because I want to get these jokes off I wrote, okay? Now, listen. <laughs> Julia Roberts can play Vivian Ward in Pretty Woman. Well, Doesn't mean she can play Harriet Tubman in Pretty Slave Woman. Okay, we got another one. Just because Julia Roberts can play Laura Burney in Sleeping with the Enemy doesn't mean she can play Harriet Tubman in a movie called Sleeping with the Enemy Against My Will because Master Keep Raping Me. <laughs> what? That, that, that didn't slap. What okay, I got another. I got another. I got another. Oh, Just on. because Julia Roberts can play Maggie Carpenter in One Away Bride doesn't mean she can play Harriet Tubman in a movie called. What? Come on, guys, Runaway Slave. <laughs> Runaway Slave. I got okay, one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Okay, one, more one more. One more. Yeah, yeah. Sure, Julia Roberts can play Tess Ocean in Ocean's Eleven, but she can't play Harriet Tubman in a movie titled Atlantic Ocean Eleven. <laughs> no. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> An origin story of how her grandmother got here? Did Taylor write these for you? No. <laughs> no, I want more. Keep going. That's all I got. Keep going. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs>